ready to go on another adventure? Well, I'm very excited about this one. Some might say, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. That's right, you guessed it. We're gonna check out the filming locations to the late 80s, early 90s teen sitcom Saved by the Bell. Besides looking at where the show was filmed, we'll also cover some Saved by the Bell fun facts and history along the way. So without further ado, let's go to LA. Six hour drive ahead of us. Good thing I picked up the new Beau Revere tape. Where are you going? Where have you been? With your love, don't you leave me here on my own. Don't leave with your love all alone. All right. After five and a half hours of driving, we made it to Los Angeles. And by the way, have I told you Zach Morris is a 10? Zach Morris is a blonde Tom Cruise. Zach Morris is the son I never had. Wait, what the heck was on this Bo Revere tape? Before we look at Saved by the Bell locations, let's check out a location from one of the precursors to Saved by the Bell, Good Morning Miss Bliss. Good Morning Miss Bliss initially started as an NBC pilot but NBC passed on the series and sold the rights to the Disney Channel. And here is the school Miss Bliss taught at, John F. Kennedy Junior High in Indiana. In actuality, this is Ulysses S. Grant High School in Los Angeles. You will see the front of this school at the beginning of every Miss Bliss episode. You will also see this building at the start of every episode, but it's behind a locked gate right now and I can't get to it, so here's a photo courtesy of the internet. Good Morning Miss Bliss quickly tanked in the ratings and after 13 episodes, the Disney Channel canceled it. But NBC took back the show and retooled it. They decided to center the show around the students dropping Miss Bliss entirely. They kept Mr. Belding, recast some of the actors, and move the setting from Indianapolis, Indiana to the sunny Palisades in Los Angeles, California. And that's how Saved by the Bell as we know it came to be. This is so cool. It's the beginning of Saved by the Bell history. Now if you're a Saved by the Bell super fan like myself, you want to know every little detail about the show. Where was it filmed? What sound stages were used? So was it filmed at NBC Studios in Burbank, Raleigh Studios, or Sunset Gower Studios? What if I told you it was filmed at all three of those studios? Trying to figure out at what location they filmed each season, I wrote Hank Stratton. Good morning everyone. I'm Tony Crane. He played Mr. Crane in one season one episode. I asked him on Twitter if his episode was filmed at NBC in Burbank, and he wrote back, indeed it was. So this is where season one of Saved by the Bell was filmed. Episodes like Cream for a Day, The Mamas and the Papas, and the classic episode The Friendship Business were all filmed right here at NBC. Buddy bands. Buddy bands. Buddy bands. Hey, they work. They filmed Say by the Bell at Stage 9 at NBC. This is the best shot I can get of Sound Stage 9. Here's an aerial view of NBC Burbank and Studio 9. 
In 2013, NBC sold the complex, and now it has the generic name, the Burbank Studios. Now we know 13 episodes of season 2 were filmed right here at Rowley Studios. It says so in the credits. Some pretty great episodes were filmed here, like House Party and probably the most iconic episode of all, Jesse's Song, was filmed right here at Rowley Studios. I'm Episodes from season three were shot here. Probably Cut Day, which is a great episode, and we know for sure from the magazine behind the scenes at Saved by the Bell that the episode There's No Hope with Dope was filmed here. There's no hope with dope. And right off Bob Hope Drive, they filmed season four right back here at what once was NBC Burbank. Episodes like The Fight, The Graduation Episode, and all the Tory episodes were filmed right back here at NBC. On Instagram, Elizabeth Berkeley posted that she was pulling up for a meeting where we filmed Saved by the Bell many moons ago. I left a comment and asked her if she was pulling up to NBC Burbank or Sunset Gower, and she replied back, NBC Burbank. We did end up at Sunset Gower for a bit, but mostly NBC, and then she winked at me. She winked at me. You macho pig. Oink, oink, baby. <laughs> Curious as to why they hopped around to different studios, I wrote director Don Barnhart. He directed 81 episodes of Say by the Bell. He wrote back and said, It's just part of the business, Stanley. Studio availability, costs, etc. determine where a show will be shot. It didn't really matter to him what studio was used. The sets were all the same and they were just shipped around to whatever studio was available. Recently, Saved by the Bell executive producer, Peter Engel, released his memoir and confirmed all the research I did. It's all in executive producer Peter Engel's book, I Was Saved by the Bell. Great book, full of great Saved by the Bell stories. I recommend it. So these were the studios used to bring one of our favorite shows to life. But during season three, the cast and crew took the show on the road and filmed six episodes in Malibu. Let's go there. Now! Time out. I've always wanted to do that. Okay, time in. Real life Saved by the Bell location. Now you probably don't recognize it from this angle, but if I use my poor man's drone and zoom out on Google Maps, you might recognize this building. You will see an aerial shot of this building at the beginning of every Beach Club episode of Saved by the Bell. When I was a kid, I always thought the camera was flying right over the Beach Club, but that's actually about five minutes down the road, or whatever is left of it is. Let's go check it out. Welcome to the Malibu Sands Beach Club. This is where the Beach Club once stood. Now, it was severely damaged in the 1994 Northridge earthquake. This is where Zach, Slater, Screech, Kelly, and Jesse all got summer jobs. Lisa and her family were club members. This is where I work. Pretty nice office, huh? We can use the buildings in the background up on the hill to figure out where the beach house was. still play volleyball on this beach to this very day. In the episode, the gang is playing against a very young Eric Dane. Wanna do yourself a favor and go out with me tonight? <laughs> 
so many games and events were filmed right here on this beach. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Now the tall building in the back is the same, and check out these three palm trees. Look how tall they are now. And this building to the right is all new. That really elaborate sand castle they build is somewhere in this area. This is where Zach raced Craig Strand. It's hard to see these buildings way in the background here with all the fog, but check it out. There's still a cone here. Do you think that's a cone from the Save by the Bell days? Every beach club structure was destroyed. Check this out. This is still here. This is the Marion Davies Guest House. It was part of a huge beachfront property built by William Randolph Hearst for his mistress, Marion Davies. Greta Garbo, Charlie Chaplin, and many other Hollywood luminaries were hosted at parties at this property. Now the Marion Davies Guest House is the only building that remains. This is where Zack, Screech, and Slater Drive right under this area and admire this car that Zach wants to buy. I think it was a 66 Mustang. They parked right over here. I am in love. Really in love. Check out those lines, those curves. Have you ever seen anything as beautiful as this 66 Mustang? <laughs> This whole area has been developed since then. It's no longer a parking lot. <laughs> These buildings right here can also be seen in some of the episodes. Don't worry, Kelly. He'll get over it. After many years of therapy. <laughs> And using the buildings in the background, we can figure out exactly where Slater saw a drowning pre-Charlie Sheen, Denise Richards. Winning! Slater ran right out there to save her. Besides the buildings in the background, I know we're on the right beach because I remember this grain of sand from one of the episodes. Now all the beach club interiors were all shot back at NBC in Burbank. Oh man, I need to eat before we drive to our next location. Astro Burger is cool, 
But imagine if this was a Max Burger right now. But wait, you can have a Max Burger right here at Saved by the Max, coming to Los Angeles in about one month. And I just happened to meet the owner here and he gave me a Saved by the Max shirt. How cool is that? Get your tickets now. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Our next location is pretty far away. Enjoy the two and a half hour drive in this brief montage. Thank you. I just got off the phone with the concierge of the Marriott Palm Desert. She said you do not have to be a guest to walk the grounds or ride in the little boats. This is great news. Still, I'm not going to bring a tripod in. I'm just going to go all handheld. I really don't want to get kicked out of this place. Welcome to Palm Desert. In 2007, the JW Marriott was completely renovated. Let's see how much has changed since 1991. Jesse's dad is getting married. See, he's a manager of this luxury hotel in Palm Desert, and he's invited the whole gang down for the wedding. Here's where the cast pulled up, exited their bus, and walked towards the entrance. Maybe I'll get lucky and they'll throw me to the single girls instead of the bouquet. <laughs> Walks in right through these doors. You know, Jesse told us this hotel was beautiful, but I never expected huh. this. And they walk down until about right here. There's still a concierge right there. Everything you need to know about girls. <laughs> yep. Jesse's dad may not be the only one getting some action around here. This lobby was remodeled in 2007, but the basic shape is still there. It's missing the waterfalls now, but it still has a very similar shape, and it still has this amazing water feature. This is the general area the cast was standing at when they were talking to Jesse's father. Jesse, why'd you run off so fast? You left before I got the chance to ask you to be my maid of honor on Sunday. And where Kelly started to have a little crush on Zach again. Oh, sort of like a miniature love boat. Oh, Zach, you're so cute. Although I don't see any of them in their cages right now, parakeets at this hotel are nothing new. You will see them briefly in one scene. Would you calm down? Leslie is a nice lady. Here's the elevators where Jesse exits after she had faked a headache. Hi guys! Hey, I thought you had a headache. 
Yes, they've been remodeled, but the basic structure and the layout is the same. Oh, isn't she sweet? What a great stepmom to yeah, have. Yeah, she's pretty, she's cool. <laughs> she has a terrific fashion sense. Yeah, I don't know what he sees in her. <laughs> You know, this is where David asked me to marry him. <laughs> um, well? <laughs> what would you say? Paige, we're here for the wedding. What do you think she said? Oh, my gosh. Hey, congratulations, Mr. Spano. <laughs> it's amazing. He just keeps getting worse every year. Does this look familiar? Here's the tree that Zack and Kelly sat under. You're really sore, huh? Uh, Kelly, even my socks hurt. <laughs> oh, baby, then we got those shoulders. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, my, oh, my neck is sore. I wish somebody would rub it. No, that's weird. You have wonderful friends. Yeah, they are great. But I already know about them. I want to know about you. This is where Slater taught the Luchtenberg princess, Christina, how to play golf. All she wanted to do was meet a real American boy. Yes, I'm a princess. Hey, that's cool. So is Lisa. <laughs> in real life, Mario Lopez was dating Tiffany Amber Thiessen at the time. It's all in executive producer Peter Engel's book, I Was Saved by the Bell. She get a royalty for this. See, Lisa, it's getting a wee bit nippy out. Care to borrow my jacket? No, thanks. I'm fine. Oh, I insist. According to page 36, on a cool night, a gentleman always offers his jacket to a lady. <laughs> if this hedge had been here in 1991, Screech might not have fallen into the lake. I don't have time to go on the golf course where Jesse and Zach were running around. I think it might have gotten remodeled anyway. But I'm going to go to the pool area where Kelly and Zach's romance started to heat up. It's actually at another resort just down the road. Hopefully we can get in there. Denied. Ah, unfortunately I cannot get into the resort. I couldn't even get past the gate person. Stop! But here's what the pool area looks like courtesy of Google Maps. This pool area has not changed at all. The shape is still exactly the same. Here's the area where Zach and Kelly were swimming. This little squiggly shaped spa is still there where Jesse, her father, and Leslie were. And this area right here is where two old flames grew white hot for each other again. All right, let's go back to the Marriott and see where the wedding took place. This area right here in the lobby, this little bar area, is where Jesse's father got married. This is where the wedding took place, right here. Hey guys, you look great. Before Starbucks was added, the bride, Leslie, walked right down these steps.
Oh, this is a formal affair. You forgot your tie. <laughs> I'd better go get in mine for the boats before it gets too crowded. You know, a sunset boat ride sounds wonderful. Oh, you bet it is. That's where David kissed me for the first time. much for joining me on this Save by the Bell adventure. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, think about subscribing to future videos. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. But wait, there's more. Coming soon, I'll have another video of Save by the Bell locations part two with locations from Save by the Bell the college years, Save by the Bell Hawaiian style, and Save by the Bell wedding in Las Vegas, plus some other fun Save by the Bell things. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Bye.